During the 20th century, various industries operated along the shore of the St. Lawrence River in the city of Cornwall, Ontario, providing employment to many residents. This came at a cost, however, as studies undertaken on the St. Lawrence River in Cornwall found that three zones near the shoreline contained large amounts of sediment contaminated with mercury, a toxic substance which can remain in the river for a long time. Mercury can cause harm to human health and can potentially travel up the food chain. Under the Remedial Action Plan for the St. Lawrence River in Cornwall, a group of government and non-government partners came together to figure out an effective, science-based method to address this legacy industrial pollution. After several years of consultation, collaboration, and scientific review, it was determined that the best solution was to protect the contaminated zones from any disturbances, thus allowing the mercury to gradually and safely become buried by layers of new, cleaner sediments that naturally built up on the riverbed. This became known as the Cornwall Sediment Strategy. To make sure the strategy is working according to plan, scientists keep a close eye on the river and regularly collect and analyze core samples from the three zones. So far, the results show that the Cornwall Sediment Strategy is successful in keeping the mercury safely tucked under a clean sediment capping layer. To make sure the strategy keeps working, it is crucial to not disturb the sediments. For that reason, landowners along Cornwall's waterfront must contact the Raisin Region Conservation Authority before building docks or other structures on or near the water. The Conservation Authority staff will work with landowners to make sure their projects will not impact the protected zones and propose mitigating measures to reduce any impacts on the sediments such as recommending floating docks over pile-driven docks. I do have a concern for this part of the river now that I'm living on it. Back when all these industries started, uh, I mean, they kept all these communities going, and that's one of the reasons Cornwall is where it is, is because of the, uh, you know, the businesses and the, and the factories they had. And unfortunately, back then, uh, we didn't have all this science. We didn't know. And this is part of the process now of, of trying to maintain what we have so that it does not get worse. The first step, I think, is to visit your local conservation authority, and that's us at the Raisin Region. We're just down the road. Uh, I don't think it's a complicated process. It's to the benefit of the homeowner to check, and uh, you don't want any stirring up any uh, contaminants, uh, you know, along your shoreline. <laughs>